welcome back to turn 20 of Concrete Hell. So definitely into the last third of the game now. And yeah, pretty much just kind of need chap to get closer onto the X. So I've uh, called off the 120mm mortars now. I uh, really just need to see what he's going to do here and then explore some means of reinforcing this corner. Uh, but so it is we are kind of playing the waiting game here so we're just going to get the camera in a decent position and see what we get uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, chap's reaction ah, there's some um, bradley fire it looks like there's some um, yeah loads of infantry down there that's what we want Yeah, that's exactly what I would be doing. Oh, that's uh, Sir Sam Storm's number two. Uh, he was probably about to be snuffed out there. So yeah, all these juicy infantry targets. Uh, looks like trap might be breaching up there, which is interesting. Maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, definitely got a few things to take a peek at this time. Hmm, yeah, interesting. Right, okay. Uh, so, looks like we're going. That's uh, that's Mr. Abu there with the 84, who is not in position yet. He's just running into the door, so he'll be up next turn. That's good. Uh, we should get that BTR, that's uh, Otto Finn, back in this area so I can start transferring 2nd platoon across. Uh, it does look like Chap is ad adjusting a bit here. So let's, let's just kick things off over here. So... Um, Rabud comes out here and we start getting some spots. Ah, no, first we get 25mm cannon fire, which is on this corner, so that's pretty much got to be coming from over there. And, oh, of course he didn't get the uh, SVD, we just got the AK, but you know what? More bullets, that's what we want. I don't think he actually hit anybody. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely plenty of uh, Americans over here that chap has got. Just flying the camera around like a lunatic. Uh, yeah, again, uh, this is the, uh, the MMG team with the M240. So again, we got this, uh, like those HQ elements we kind of saw in the last couple of turns. These are elements that are behind the infantry squads, generally. And he is pretty damn pinned. Also area firing up here from the looks of it. Yeah, so two contacts in this building. Is that ground floor, top floor? Yeah. Uh, that's an MG team. Uh, two of them purple platoons. So you know, again we're looking at like maybe a platoon down here, which is good. I kind of feel like I should shoot up a platoon. At least cause at least a platoon's worth of casualties. I think to really get things going here. Uh, some more. Uh, yeah, when we get to the end here. Uh, we start to get some, looks like a uh, chap adjusts his mortars to be focusing on this building, which again makes sense. Or not, you know, maybe they're over there instead. Uh, so these are, you know, obviously that's kind of like... Also Felix's team is apparently amazing. <laughs> There's Clockwork Rex there. Uh, just hanging on. Yeah, so... Getting that... Helping uh, isolate this kind of area here, really, from the looks of it. 
let's see, what do we get? There is some shooting, isn't there? Is that, uh, yes, that is Emmanuel taking some pot shots at these guys who are transiting down this way. Uh, as well as somebody else is shooting at him. Ah, it's Roland! I think you can see him, yeah, you can see him through the gap in the, uh, in the wall there. That's nice. Little casual reminder to chat that I can s I'm still in the alpha compound. Uh, oh yeah, definitely. Uh, and that's 60 mil mortars as well, so that's interesting. Uh, yeah, those guys are still there. That's Emmanuel and Co. A bit of a firefight going. So those those explosions I was seeing are probably not actual breaching charges like I thought. They're probably just um, uh, mortar rounds. So yeah, a bit of a fight going there. Yeah, stuff did hit here. Look. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if that's an adjustment or if Chap just has like a line down there. Uh, like a linear barrage. That would make sense. Prepping, prepping this building. Well, we'll see how that goes. Uh, especially for T-Dog, who is just kind of cooped up in the middle there. Uh, it is an awkward building to attack because um, while there are windows evidently between the floors on the ground floor, there's no doors. Uh, I, I found this earlier. Like for. If Chap assaults into this building, he can't just assault straight into the next one. He's in a firefight with T-Dog. And he can't really exploit it because he has to go outside and come back in. So yeah, that could be interesting. Um, that's some more stuff. That's another headquarters unit moving in. That's the 60mm mortar, which surely... I swear that's been going for ages now. Uh, and we're getting some relatively chunky contacts in the L-shaped building, which is good. Uh, so I basically moved the QRF and then just stuck them under a mortar barrage because I'm, you know, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah, nothing else happens, does it? We're not missing anything drastic. Uh, it just, again, this kind of line here, I just want to need to bring some gratuitous firepower to bear. Nice, so yeah, that's the, that platoon's two MMGs there. Okay, uh, how are we going to deal with this? Well, Uh, Otto Fenn needs to go back first of all. This is the part where I can't remember how I got him there. <laughs> um. Up there, we'll have to make sure we don't go too close. Uh, to the ribble there, because apparently you can't go anywhere near it. Alright. Go around.
around the other side and go in front of the 23mm cannon then. I don't see how that could end badly. That's not a safety issue at all. Uh, less important that the... It's all nice and... Clean down there, right. Um, that gets Otto Finn back eventually. It's probably another two turns. Uh, you should go up to that top floor uh, if we moved Clockwork Rex out. Uh, Hugh. to get down here. Uh, have we got a balcony on this floor? Yes we do. Balconies suck. Uh, might be worth trying to bring a Jacob NO506. Uh, just out of this build. No, 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 no. I double click there and I was given the whole platoon orders. I don't want to do that. Uh, just bring them out of there uh, and into this building here. Then we can maybe pop them up like we did a couple of turns ago and see if we can see anything out there to shoot. Uh, might as well. Can you guys? Yes, you guys can see that from there. No, not hide. Pause. Uh, we'll just have uh, Donahue pop up again and pop down again uh, and shoot up that building a bit more too because I would quite like that building to go away uh, or the, uh, the enemy troops inside there to go away at least. I don't know what he's don't know what he's doing, but it looks like a hell of a hell of a pose. So no confirmed contacts in here yet, and I'm sure Chap has something, but I also have eyes on it, and I kind of want to make sure that there's something in there uh, before doing anything else. We've got Rabood, who is uh, probably going to die soon, but that's okay. Once we get a bit of intel from him. <sighs> yeah, it's uh, more waiting, really. Gets the eight minutes, I think, and then it's definitely time to start calling the artillery in. Uh, and just absolutely plaster this whole area. Again, it's trying to find a balance between letting him in and uh, luring him onto the uh, the X for the ambush, and you know having enough actual time left to do to do the damage. So. Mm. Next turn, maybe that would give us what seven minutes left uh, if we go all in with the artillery. Uh, six minutes, yeah. So that the heavy barrage will probably last six minutes. So yeah, let's do it now, actually. Just trying too hard. Uh, let's see. 
find a good place. Let's turn the lights on. Right. Um. He's coming in. Basically, curving in through here and coming in through there. I mean, if we wanted to really go for it, we could do something like that. But that's like a 150 meter line. That's probably not concentrated enough. Of course, I'm also thinking about lines, which I maybe shouldn't do. If we do that, is he going to be across that? Mm. I don't want to block him, particularly. Uh, right, so if we think three turns chap's really going to have to be thinking about this. Uh, so he's going to have to have pushed up here and he's, I mean, he's already got troops here now. He's going to be moving up and by the time this comes in, he's going to be forward of this line and I can adjust this line further forward into there and close it off. Or if he starts pushing in from here, uh, adjust it otherwise. So let's do that. Uh, and this is going to be like extra bonus the uh, exploded because we have the leftover ammunition for the first two morts in there too. So, right, let's do that. Uh, I also need to go back to all the other turns and actually keep, make a track of how many of Chap's troops I've incapacitated because. I haven't been keeping track, and I really need to, to know how many bodies that I need to pile up, basically. Um, so yeah, let's uh, send that back and... It's going to be 43, isn't it? Oh, something went wrong here somewhere, and I can't remember what it was. Uh, yeah, it should be 43. Right, cool. Let's uh, send it off.